And we got to be serious. Am I right, Maggie? Maggie's into punk rock, and this is Gene. And you're into punk rock, too? Heavy metal. Heavy. <laughs> you mean like Led Zeppelin? No, like Judas Priest and uh, Motorhead. Hey, this kid's not fooling around. Listen, Maggie, a lot of parents out there watching the show, they see kids like you, they say, gee, she looks strange, like she hasn't had a decent meal, not a comfortable bed, she's on her own, and they're afraid. Do they have anything to be concerned about? No. You happy? Yeah. Do you have, do you have for example, a place to go at night? Yeah. Can we call your mother? Yeah. All right, and her name is? Margaret. Margaret. What's your last name? Eric. Margaret Eric, and you're her love of her life, Maggie. Margaret, can you hear me? Yes. How are you? Where are you? I'm home, in the kitchen. And where, I mean, I know, but what, are you in Los Angeles? Yes, we live in Hollywood. Now listen, I'm talking to Maggie. She's a doll, she's laughing. Are you, what do you think about her being into punk rock? Well, um, we think it's weird. Yes, I'm sure you do. Why? Well, she's not the beautiful child that she was when she left home. Does it hurt you? Pardon me? I say, does it hurt you? Well, not now. We've accepted it, but it did. Now, why are you laughing, Maggie? You embarrassed a little bit? No, my mom's voice sounds funny over the microphone. All right, now, for example, did Maggie come home for the holidays or something like that? Oh, yes. Whenever there's a good meal, we see Maggie. <laughs> oh, that's true. Listen, would you invite me? What are you going to ask? You ever have meatloaf? Who, me? Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, we have good, uh, we have meatloaf and turkey and ham and steak and all the things. I mean, I'm getting kind of personal. I realize that. Listen, what would you, look, you're a parent. You sound like a very positive woman. Maggie, is she going through a stage, in your opinion, or are you concerned about her? Well, we're concerned about her, but I also think she's going through a stage, and we hope that uh, she uh, has it all together pretty soon. Now, she's 19. Did you do that when you were a child? No, I grew up in a very conservative generation. Listen, you're a doll to talk to us, and many Mom. parents... Say hello to your mother. Hi, Mom. Hi, Meg. Do you love her? Of course. I love you. She loves you. And we love her, too. Listen, when we come back, we're going to talk to a whole bunch of kids in punk rock. Is it a death trip or a rite of passage? We'll be back with punks. And as for you, friends, I'm a punk, the largest and the oldest punk living, and we're going to punk out after this time out. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Mrs. Thanks. Well, you know, aren't you mad? You can't even get a job anymore. You got a job. What about all the people that can't even get and what kind of dinner? So what kind of job would you like to have? I'd like to be a hooker. Why are you so really angry? Why don't you talk to her? All right, I will. And your name is Nicole. Yeah. And where are you from? Here. How are we all getting along? This little love nest here. <laughs> and Nicole Panther, originally involved in punk, is a punker. She's now an ex-punker. Yeah. Why did you punk out or go on to another form or leave it? I just kind of gave up. Uh, my dressing funny and looking funny isn't going to change anything or point out the problem. Uh, it's become a problem, according to some people, rather than illustrating a problem, and that isn't the point at all. All right, now, let me go over this again. I want you to help me. I'll be being very honest with you all. I want you to tell me. I'm not. You're, you're not, you know, you're something, you know, you're not being honest. You're really not, because you're giving us a lot of displacement about the world. You know, you're, you're not telling us what really you're angry about, which is not nuclear waste. You're angry about some other thing, some guy maybe, or no job, or I don't know. No guy makes me angry. Really? No, I get angry if I don't have money to put gas in my car. If I don't maybe have that's money your own fault, though. To pay the rent. Why? Because I don't go and... Get, most you know, people have a job. Myself. But most people have a job in this country. No, they don't. Yes, they do. Of a course. lot of people don't. A lot of people don't, but most people do. You agree and with most that? Most people don't like the jobs they have. That may be true. You know, life is unfair, isn't it? Are you going to tell me that everybody's happy? People really aren't angry. Hey, listen, where's that bell on the street and people are fighting on the, in the intersections. They get out of their cars and they fight with each other That's in the intersections. Every country, am I right? I don't know. I don't All have right. the money to get around. Okay, now what about this? Nicole, I want to see if this applies to you or to all of these people. Pretend you're a kid from Industry Town, USA. You spend your days yawning through meaningless classes in high school. Then you go to work in a gas station. Your father works in a factory, and your mother is a waitress in a white Dacron uniform. Nobody has time to notice you much. You watch TV and eat Kentucky Fried Chicken straight from the bucket. There are too many people in the world. Nobody wants you, and you have no future. 
The only thing left is to be cool and dance. And have fun. And have fun. Yeah. But is that what the punk movement is about? At least I don't in theory. know what it's about. Well, you were in it for how long? Four years, three years. Four and what years happened years. there? It's a full-time job, and I don't have the time to do it anymore. And wh why did you get fed up with it? I didn't get fed up. But I you think. left it, though. Sort of just drifted out of it. All right, Spaz, tell me about you. What do you want to know? Well, now, what is this outfit? This is my new look. And can you be a little more forthcoming? A little more, uh, why am I dressed like yes, this? Yes, tell us. Well, I'm a d clothing designer, and I'm also in a band that's just forming right now called Harmonic 33. And all of our songs about UFOs and that sort of phenomenon. So, Do you think you're weird and bizarre? I know I am. You know you are? Yeah. Do you like that? It's a fact that I've just come to accept. Do you think you have a future? Definitely. All right. Definitely. Okay, when we come back, we're going to see punk fashion, punk movies, everything, and Penelope and I are going to get married on this show. No way! Wait a minute! Why not? No way. I can't stand it. <laughs> <laughs> 